Just loved our team's ability tonight to kind of go out and execute the game plan. Thought our coaches really had us prepared. Um, and we just weathered their runs and stuck together. I think we learned a lot from the first game at Georgia. It was really similar. And you could hear our kids talking going down the ha hallway at halftime, not again. And so I uh, just loved um, the grit and the toughness that our kids showed. And um, it was a great game. We're happy we're on the, the winning side. Question for Brittany. Could you just talk about the momentum you guys had from start to finish? Oh, yeah. We just, Coach talked about coming out and playing for 40 minutes. So we just started out from the tip and just picked each other up and kept going. Even when it got tough, we kept going. This question's for Megan. What was the game plan tonight? Um, you know, we just wanted to um, limit our turnovers, um, push in transition, and, and make the catches hard, um, not give them easy shots. So we really wanted to lock in defensively. Um, we knew we had some mismatches um, offensively for us. So um, we just wanted to execute the game plan and make sure we get stops because um, we know that we can get buckets offensively. Brittany, after a low-scoring third quarter for you, what went different in the fourth? Uh, just staying uh, focused and continue to trust my teammates and know that when I'm not doing something, I know that they picked me up and got my back. This question's for both of you. I'll start with Megan, and then we'll go to Brittany. How difficult is tournament play playing back-to-back? -back? Um, you know, it is tough. You know, you have to have mental toughness, but um, I think we had a little bit of an advantage um, playing yesterday. So um, we just have to continue to play together as a team and just keep that mental toughness. So I think really that's the key factor in our success. That's all we have for you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We'll open questions for Coach. Start right over here. Hey, uh, uh, Coach Curry, uh, Ryan and uh, the AJC, um, you spoke about the game in January. I mean, like you said, a very similar situation. Um, what type of things are you guys able to do differently to hold on uh, to the lead there? It's a great question. Um, we talked at halftime. We knew they were going to come out and really push early and often, and they were getting some looks on a make. Um, we knew that Q would come out and really try and hurt us in transition. Um, you know, we, we had three back in transition and an eye formation, and I thought we did a really good job of adjusting some things at halftime with our transition defense and limiting them at the rim and making them play off two feet. Coach, what have you seen from your bench throughout this tournament so far? Oh, amazing. You know, when you look at our bench, um, Taylor Sutton stepped up in a big way tonight, that Georgia girl, and Jada came off the bench, another Georgia girl, and, um, you know, Allie Craig, um, you know, has been coming off the bench, obviously. Um, I, I thought Myra came in there, and I know those minutes were huge to end the half. So just a great job, you know, um, in our bench stepping up and coming in and, um, doing all the little things, and um, it's been a difference maker for us, that's for sure. Tonight was your 150th win at Alabama. What does that mean for you? You know, it's just, I, I didn't know that. Um, I hope we can get a lot more, first of all, and secondly, I think it's just a credit to everybody around the program. You know, when you look at um, the staff, the team, the kids, it's all about them with me. I'm just happy to be a small part. Can you talk about the defensive game plan for tonight? Well, we were trying to limit, you know, looks in the paint. Um, and m making sure that we brought the double, whether it was zone or man, we kept changing our defenses after timeouts and dead balls. I'm trying to keep them a little out of rhythm because Q, Q is so good with the ball in her hands, but we had to find shooters. thought Richardson really came in in the third quarter and hurt us some, but overall just making sure we kept the ball in front of us and we didn't have to help rotation because that's where Stoddy and those kids will really hurt you too on the offensive glass. You've seen Q Morrison throughout her career. What makes playing against her so difficult? Well, I mean, it's just she's a three-level scorer. You know, she's so good one-two dribble pickup um, sh shot. She's so good at the rim. She's really improved her three. You know, I I've said this before on several occasions, and I've told Joni this. Um, when you look at Q Morrison and you look at Jenna Stoddy, I have so much respect for them coming back for a fifth year and the legacy they're leaving at Georgia. And, um, you know, we wish them well on the NCAA tournament. Both of those kids have really big fans in Christy Curry because of how they've committed to that program and what they've done for five years. And last one for you, what did you change inside the paint from January 9th to today to be more successful? Well, you know, we were able to uh, get more shots at the rim. You know, they came out and we're switching one through five. We were really able to get their bigs on our guards, and I think we just countered. You know, we told the kids before the game, let it fly, whether that's at the rim or from three. No hesitation from anybody. Find the open person and find the open windows, and let's make plays, and our kids did that tonight. That's all for tonight. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. Roll Tide.